Hey everyone and welcome to the a video on the questions on the new generation NCLEX. So I'm going to go through all the questions that are on this new NCLEX. A lot of them are new from the current um, one and as this new generation NCLEX um, is released in April of 2023, um, we're just going to be learning more and more about how to answer these questions. So it kind of starts with what are they? All right, so this is all the types of questions um, that we're going to go through today. So the first type of question is very similar to kind of what you see on the NCLEX now, multiple response, everyone's favorite, select all that apply. Nothing really new here. Um, this will still be on the new NCLEX. So this one is new, and this is a multiple response question where you select a certain number. So they, in this case, it's select three findings that require immediate follow-up. So it'll only allow you to select three, the three most important. Um, it can also say select four, select two, it can vary, um, but it'll be a specific number. For this multiple response, they're, they're adding a lot of tables to the new generation NCLEX. So this one will have the body systems on the left, and then you'd select the uh, appropriate nursing interventions based on the scenario. So that's one thing I should briefly explain on the new generation NCLEX. So most of the questions that you have will have like a three or four paragraph patient scenario. And then you'll work through about 10 questions related to that scenario. So I took the research section in February for the new generation NCLEX. And that's kind of how it worked. I had like a uh, three or four paragraph scenario. And then I worked through about five questions. Then I had another patient scenario. And I worked through about five questions. So a lot of these are related to the scenario. So in this case, using the your the information you learned from the scenario, you would determine do they need neuro checks every hour, do they need continuous EKG monitoring, things like that. Okay, the matrix grid, this is where assessment you are correlating assessments with disease processes. So in pneumonia, is a productive cough related to pneumonia? Yes. Is right upper quadrant pain related to pneumonia? No. Is a fever related to pneumonia? Yes. Like typically, is bowel pattern something you're going to assess in pneumonia? No. So here you just go through the disease and figure out if the assessment would rule in or rule out that diagnosis. In this option, you are looking at assessment findings, and based on the patient scenario, you're highlighting if or selecting whether they are improved now or no change or declined. So it's hard to just look at the box without the scenario, but a, a picture you'd have, say, the respiratory rate was 32. Now you, like, um, address the problem, and now the respiratory rate's 20. So yes, they have improved based on that. The drag and drop, um, in this scenario, you'll have, like, the client is at risk for developing blank, and you'll be able to select a certain condition due to this. So in this scenario, you'll also use your patient condition to determine what they're at most risk of developing. In the drag and drop rationale, you are able to select more than one. In this case, it's selecting what are they at risk for developing, um, what three things are they at risk for developing. In this scenario, it's also very similar with the drop down. So based on the above scenario, which of the following actions should the nurse take? So you would say the nurse should insert A, and then the drop down may be peripheral IB, Foley catheter, things like that. Is it a? Pr it is a priority for the nurse to obtain the medication. You know, I don't know lidocaine or, um, you know, if you're doing whatever, whatever the medication be maybe, and then the nurse should position the patient. You know, supine, lying on the right side reverse Trendelenburg, those kind of things for the procedure. In this case, very similar as well, the client is risk for developing the drop down based on the client and then the drop down. So the other options above here, you're gonna like select the options and drag them in, whereas these is drop down, so it's specific to the um, that spot in the response. In this example and question you would select the nursing intervention for the body system based on the patient scenario okay so this one when I took the research portion it was difficult for me because it was like three paragraphs and I was supposed to highlight what was important and that seemed uh, like a lot and everything seemed important uh, but one thing I will say is they 
they highlight for you like your you when you drag your cursor over it highlights what you can select which is nice so I'm not just like highlighting random words um, you just select what out of what they highlighted is important so I think this is one that as you get more experience more practice it'll be easier to answer but for me it was kind of overwhelming when I took the test this you can also highlight in the table I didn't get this one when I took the test but basically you would highlight what findings require immediate follow-up within the systems bow tie this is one of the things that really um, highlights the new generation NCLEX is totally different from the current NCLEX um, when I took the research section I enjoyed this and I think you guys will like like it too once you get more practice with it so basically you're given a patient scenario and you have to determine what they're most likely experiencing so the diagnosis basically and then what actions to take and what parameters to monitor so for mine, I think I chose pneumonia on the test, and actions to take was like put oxygen on, get a chest x-ray, things like that. Parameters to monitor were like oxygen saturation, um, uh, like maybe um, sputum, things like that, like if to determine if it's pneumonia. Uh, and then the trend is the last type of question you'll find, and this is just an overarching that can be applied to any of them besides the bow tie. So it would be, for example, looking at the patient's potassium over the last couple days, what nursing intervention would you ex suspect or expect to be done? So say potassium was 3.5 and now it's 3.3 and 3.2, 3.1, you're going to give potassium, right? So these trends can be applied to any of the style questions. All right, so that's all the questions on the new generation NCLEX. I hope that helps you guys kind of understand um, what to be looking out for, what to be practicing. If you uh, want more information on this, I'm going to be releasing videos on how the scoring works on the new generation NCLEX and also helping you guys through working through these questions. So, you know, how do you answer these questions? How do you approach these questions? So give me a follow or subscribe to this channel if you'd like to follow along as we prepare for the new generation NCLEX. All right, thanks. Have a great day, guys.